Right, now, I'm, I've got Halloween coming up, again, heard those words before, and uh, I made the Pyramid Head costume from Sand Hill 2, and I've been trying to work out how to make the Butcher from Sand Hill Origins, or Zero, depending on where you come from. I've been looking and looking and looking and I've drawn sketches, I've cut out plastic, I've done all sorts and I think the only way I'm going to work it out is if I just do it which is one thing I'm good at so I'm going to now make a making of the butcher helmet piece uh, the rest of the costume is quite easy it's just a uh, well if you're a large guy it's great you know that's why I like pyramid head because I'm not a fat guy, therefore pyramid head fits my uh, my body type. So to pull it off, it's going to be harder. So I'm going to have to, you know, improvise somehow. We'll get, we'll get to that. But it's basically just an apron and the big butcher knife. Okay, so a bit like pyramid head. We're going to start again with a workman's helmet. Now, what I've done is, as you can see, take a workman's helmet, take a workman's helmet, and I've sawn it in half, which ink. And now, I've, what I've done is, it's slightly off half, actually. I've got a bigger half here. Now, with this bigger half, get rid of that little bit. We might need it later. As I said, I'm improvising a bit here. So I'm thinking half of that will fit nicely as half the helmet. Obviously you've got to think of it in stages. So half the helmet, you got half your face, which you can do your makeup and all that. Uh, and then there's the helmet side, which we're worrying about now, so that's half of that. Now, I found, put my Canadian cap back on, <laughs> I found a piece of this. Now, this is from the bottom of a um, carrier bag, you know those um, bags for life you get? Well, it has a bottom in it. You might have at the bottoms of school bags and stuff, it's that waterproofy, you know. Well, I was thinking, this, looks, this looks, does look pretty cool actually. What I'm going to do is I'm going to glue that onto the helmet so I can wear it down one side of the face. I'm thinking that should be good. So, let me glue it on, have a look, and we'll get. We'll get to the next part, eh? Right. So I don't know how this is going to go. But there's sort of the shape. I mean, you've got the panel down the front there. So to work out how long everything goes. But the focus. Cool. Yeah, the top piece there. You see that shape? It's one side. That's the side there, see it? So yeah, it concaves down around. So I'm gonna cut that out. We'll have a look what it looks like. Alright, there we go. So there's one piece, top piece like him over there, so this thing I've got to do is work out the piece around the bottom here I'm thinking I've got a big piece of oh, it's just foam 
piece of foam so I'm going to uh, stick that in and then see how the next bit will look. I've added a layer of foam inside there, see? So it has more depth to it now, as you can see just there. And all it is is bits of foam. You can also use this uh, flower stuff, but it gets a bit, if you get, it can get a bit wrecked. But we're just filling it out to make it look thicker. But anyway, there's the top piece onto it. There's the top bit there. And it'll have two silver bolts on either side. Next piece is the, uh, the, the wider bit, which I may do tomorrow. I got a sheet of thin polystyrene rubbery stuff, so you can use that stuff. You know that stuff that you um, use to lie on the ground when you go camping? A bit of that. And I've cut a triangle in there so I can pull it closer together and give it a nice concave. And I'm going to glue that on the inside. So I'll take that, put it together. You got it? Got it? Good, let's do it. Anyone who knows the butcher will now see what's happening here. You got the top piece, and then there's the second piece, the bottom piece, which is raised up. So, as you can see, that's starting to come quite nice, actually, isn't it? But, the actual main shape there, looking quite nice, if I don't say so myself. Oops. So, uh, let's see what I do tomorrow. As you can hear, I've got the window open. Reason why, it's a balcony. And I now have black spray paint. So what I'm gonna do is spray the top piece, make that black, and uh, then we can have a look noisy out there. Then we can have a look at how the whole thing is starting to really look. And um, once it's all black and it's looking like that, then we can start working on the details, you know what it's like. Okay, so. Oh, well, trust me to buy the one kind of spray paint that's been leaking. Okay, right, so what I've uh, decided to do here is um, I've sacked off the idea of using the original um, holes with the original headpiece because uh, I can't get them to fit back in. So, what I'm going to do is I got this piece of material um, looks very kind of uh, bandage-like so it fits the, the whole look from Silent Hill and I'm going to glue it in from top to bottom and then uh, I'll tie it under my chin and around my head and sort it out that way so I'll glue it in and see how it looks see all the panels are in there and um, that's the side view front view, that's the front of it and the back's slightly different and that's the back 